All right, we have breaking news on this Tuesday. This comes as a pretty big surprise, too. The one managerial opening that was still out there in the Major League landscape has apparently been filled with reports that the Padres are going to hire Mike Schilt as their next manager. If you'll recall, uh, when Bob Melvin left for the Giants, yeah. it was said that Mike Schilt and Ryan Flaherty, two members of the existing staff, were the front runners. Um, Phil Nevin then interviewed and gained a lot of traction, a lot of steam, and there were a lot of people in baseball that were pretty convinced that it was Phil's to lose, and we get word this morning now that the Padres have landed on Mike Schilt to be their new manager. Yeah, so that's the surprise, right? I think with the support that we all outside thought uh, Phil Nevin made sense, right? Yeah. Padre legend, uh, yep. just got let go by the Angels. I'm sure he had support from a lot of uh, deep-rooted uh, Padre uh, people over the years. But here it is, Mike Schilt, 2019 Manager of the Year in the National League and was an advisor and a coach. I guess uh, Preller had other ideas. Yeah, and that's, I think, you know, A.J. Preller often does things that uh, only he, um, <laughs> you know, knows are going to happen. He doesn't play his hand publicly. And that's why I think the speculation over uh, his landing on Phil Nevin was, it made a lot of sense. But here we are with, with something close to official, nothing official from the Padres. This is just a report, but it, it, it feels like it's happening. That's why we're reporting it to you that Mike Schilt will be the manager of the Padres. And recalling Mike Schilt's brief tenure as the Cardinals manager after he replaced Mike Matheny, uh, it started out in great shape. And then by the time it had ended, we were equally confused as to why Mike was out in St. Louis because by all reports, uh, especially among players, he was well-liked there. Uh, there were some philosophical disagreements with he and management. I guess that's the, you know, Bolshoi line that they put out yeah. there when, when uh, a manager and a GM get hacked off at each other. But uh, they didn't agree on things. Schilt was out. He was quickly gobbled up by the Padres. He wasn't on the unemployment line for very long and spent two years uh, with the Padres. And now he's getting the keys to the car there. He's their yeah. new manager moving on. So it makes sense from the outside, right? You have Schilt, who's been in the organization. Mm -hmm. I actually saw him in a, in a double-A uh, game. Um, I, I, know, I guess he came down. This was last year, uh, he, even though he was part of the Major League Club. I, I think it was when Tatis was on... Uh, when he went down for a rehab assignment. Yeah, he was doing a lot so of So you have somebody familiar. Right. Three years in a row, St. Louis, he makes the playoffs. He's a manager of the year. You're right about that. The, the, the synergy of, of the must of the relationship has to be good and strong with your manager and your general manager. Yeah. So otherwise, it just doesn't work. And you got a, you got a strong-minded guy in A.J. Preller. And where does this team go? You know the Padres. Oh, Padres man. Anyway. I mean, I, where do they go from a from a player payroll standpoint? It's it's messy. There are a lot of long-term commitments. The team misfired and underachieved like crazy last year. And there are all kinds of questions around whether or not Juan Soto is going to be shopped now or at the deadline. It looks like it's a certainty he's going to be moving on someplace else. Uh, can they get some financial relief from one of those big mega deals, Bogart? Machado, Darvish, uh, Tatis. How long were you at the Padres? Uh, eight years. Eight years. But it was uh, a long time ago. Did it surprise you? Real quick, I know we'll go to uh, JP, but uh, the, the, the payroll, the salary. I know Peter Seiler's a little... shocking. They never, that franchise historically had never behaved that way. I mean, when the late, great Kevin Towers was around, they used to make a 40-man roster based on the free agent market kind of, yeah. the waiver wire and the Rule 5 draft. Yeah. Like, they were looking for wins around the edges. Yeah. They weren't writing big checks like they have of late. Uh, but again, that was the philosophy of their late owner, Peter Seidler. Let's bring in J.P. Morosi on this rather surprising news on a Tuesday morning. Uh, were you like us, J.P.? We thought that this was Phil Nevins to lose. Matt, certainly Phil Nevin made a great impression on the Padres, but in listening to you and Al talk about this, the key reason why the choice is Mike Schilt it, are those two years that Mike Schilt spent as an advisor to the San Diego Padres. He built that relationship with A.J. Preller during that time. As Al mentioned, he spent time in the minor leagues getting to know the Padres system. And because of those reasons that you're illuminating right now, Matt, about what has to happen with the Padres, maybe going a little bit younger if they move on from Juan Soto, Mike Schilt 
and A.J. Preller have to now rely on some of those young prospects that the Padres had in their farm system that Mike Schilt got to know over the last two years. We talked before about Jacob Marcy, potentially the Arizona Fall League MVP. If Soto has moved on, Marcy may very well step into an everyday role with the Padres in the outfield. And finally, to Al's point about Mike Schilt's track record, he had done everything you could possibly imagine to earn a second chance as a major league manager. Three full seasons in in St. Louis, he made the playoffs in all three years. It is hard to do much better than that. Yep, Mike Schilt, the new manager in San Diego, and an early offseason that has been defined by this managerial carousel has stopped on its last song. Uh, The Padres have their man, and now all six of those managerial vacancies have been filled in some really wild turnover, the likes of which the league had not seen in some time. JP, thanks, and I know his details come in on this. We'll be be on the air all day to certainly report, if not you and I, then uh, Christopher Russo and Alana, and then uh, BK later on on MLB Now. Again, I, I, I think it comes as a surprise. You know, again, it was it was Flaherty and Schilt being talked about yeah. mostly, and then Nevin, and now it circles back to yeah. Mike well, Schilt. AJ Preller, you know, in the interview process, thinks that Mike Schilt is a guy. I look at this. There's four players that committed up for seven hundred and fifty million dollars, and that goes out to 2034 with uh, Fernando Tatis Jr. That's Machado, Tatis, Bogarts, and Darvish. How do they sustain that amount of commitment? Yeah, and you knew at the time those contracts were offered and accepted that it, you know, down the road, you can only kick the can so far down the road before the check comes due, as they say, if I could use like seven metaphors in the same sentence. Uh, the Padres are going to be interesting moving forward.